It has just been reported that cops and paramedics were called to Jojo Siwa's pride party after reports of an alleged overdose. Let's get into it. As you guys know, this is Jojo Siwa's first year openly celebrating Pride Month after coming out as a member of the LGBTQ plus community earlier this year. So of course, she's going all out. On the right track, baby, I was born so Jojo pulled out all the stops, throwing a massive rainbow-themed party at her home in San Fernando Valley on Wednesday night. We're talking about a giant bounce house that lights up when you jump in it, a bedazzled piano, a Jojo Barbie wall, I mean there was even a rainbow dyed dog walking around. But according to TMZ, one of the guests showed up at the party already under the influence and around 8pm cops and paramedics were called to the scene as the reported male in his 30s might have over overdosed on LSD. TMZ went on to inform that this person was rushed to the hospital and as of the making of this video, his health status is still unclear. It's worth noting that the police determined that there was no crime committed so there were no arrests and the party carried on. Up until the scary incident, Jojo was spotted having a great time with her girlfriend Kylie Prue as well as a bunch of influencers including Tana Mojo who actually gave us all a quick tour of Jojo's wild bash. Take a look. BRB building a wall like this in my house. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Like, they offer for me to move in, y'all. If I'm posted up here next week, don't say shit. It's still not clear if JoJo actually knew the party goer that was taken to the hospital, but we hope that he makes a full recovery and we'll be sure to keep you informed about any new details on the matter. In the meantime, click right over here to find out why JoJo wants a kissing scene removed from her new film. Then hop to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on this terrifying incident that occurred at JoJo's pride party. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.